everybody. I thought we could roast a chicken today in the Instant Pot. I've been wanting to show you guys how to do that. So let's get started. What I have here is a four and a half pound chicken. It's a really good size for the six quart Instant Pot. I don't own an eight quart so I don't know how big you can go in that. You might have to look that one up. So today we'll just concentrate on this one. I know that I've done a five pound bird before in my six quart and that was no problem but uh, this was the smallest one I could find under six pounds so I went with it. So I've washed it and dried it and I'm gonna go ahead and season it and this is gonna be sort of simple because I don't wanna make my own rub right now but I have uh, basically simple salt and pepper so I just sprinkle salt all over it and I'll do the other side once it's in the pot that's kind of one of my little tricks um, I like the coarse ground pepper and then I wanted to show you guys this I just uh, love this stuff it's by Spiceologist and I'm in Washington State and these guys are located in eastern Washington in Spokane some people call it Spokane, and that is not correct. Spokane, Washington, and they have some really, really tasty spices and rubs, and this one is the Rasta rub, and it's, you know, a, a jerk seasoning, and it goes really, really well on the chicken. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this on here, and it'll give it a nice, tasty uh, Jamaican flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I need my other hand, so I will do that and come right back. I've got the bird all seasoned. I went ahead and did the other side uh, so I wouldn't have to worry about it once I got it in the pot. So the next thing we want to do is get our instant pot ready and I like to brown the chicken before I pressure cook it. So the way I do that is I just use the saute button right here and just let it warm up. Once it warms up, first it'll switch to on and you'll hear it beep just like that and then after a while it'll say hot up here now sometimes I'm impatient and I really don't worry about whether or not it says hot I can tell when it gets hot and once the pot does get hot that's when I add my olive oil to it I don't like to warm my olive oil up from a cold pan when I'm frying on the regular stove it's the same way hot pan cold oil that's what I've always been taught so I'm gonna let that get hot and I'll be right back okay as you can see it's hot and I just went ahead and poured in my olive oil I've got maybe a couple of tablespoons in there and because the center of your instant pot liner it's sort of domed a little bit so the oil usually runs to the outside so I just do this a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put the bird in. I'm gonna use my hands. And I like to put it in first, uh, breast side down. All right, there we go. So brown it about two minutes on each side, approximately. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I will come back and let you see the magic flip. Okay, it's been sauteing away breast side down. So when I flip it, I stick my tongue in and I just turn it on its side because I like to get all four sides. There we go. And sometimes it'll stay, sometimes it won't. It looks like it's going to stay. So I'm going to do two minutes on the side, then I'm going to do two minutes on this side. I'm going to flip it over and do two minutes on the back. And then I will be right back. Okay, it's a little loud, but I'll try to raise my voice a little bit so you can hear me. Uh, I've got all the sides browned. It, it's now breast side up again. And I'm gonna just put, I don't wanna rinse all the spices off it, but I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon over it because I think that makes it very, very yummy. Woo! And I think that lemon is always good in any kind of Caribbean cooking. 
it really will go well with the jerk seasoning. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of set the bird up on his end there. And I've got a little bit of rosemary that I stuck in there. And I'm going to put some onion and then the lemons that I just squeezed. I'm just going to stuff them in there. However many will fit. There's no real set amount that you have to do. And then the rest of it, of the onions, so I'm just going to toss in there. Okay. And I don't know if you can see. There's actually a fair amount of liquid down in there. And there's a little bit of the olive oil left, which is not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more liquid. And then we'll get the rest of this done. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the saute mode and I'm going to go ahead and add just a half a cup of water just off to the side here. Okay. Ooh, and that'll quiet it down a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to put on the lid and make sure I set it to the ceiling position. And before I do that, I want to just talk a little bit about the timing. So this is a four and a half pound bird, and if you just figure the pounds of your bird times 5.5, and then that's how many minutes you can do. So I already figured out that this was about a four and a half pound bird, and I think the math came out to 24.75. So I'm just going to do 25 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead. You can do this a couple different ways. You can use the manual button or you can use the poultry button. Just for fun, let's just use the poultry button. And last time I cooked, I did nine minutes. I don't even know. I think it was chicken thighs. So either way, I still have to adjust the time. Okay. So 25 minutes. You know, if I did manual, turn it off, hit manual. Whatever I cooked last time on manual was only seven minutes. So again, just bump it up to 25 minutes. It's the exact same thing. It's still high pressure and there's no difference. Uh, so anyway, there it is. It's set on high pressure for 25 minutes and there it goes. So I will come back when this is all done and you can see what my roast chicken looks like. Okay, so our 25 minutes is up. It just beeped to let me know that it's done. And I don't want to overcook my chicken, so I'm actually not going to do a natural press pressure release. I know that sounds uh, contrary to everything that we're told about cooking meat in the Instant Pot. Usually uh, they want us to do a natural pressure release to keep the moisture in the meat. But for some reason it works when you're cooking a whole chicken just to do a quick release. So I'm going to come down here and just turn it off. And as usual, I use a wood spoon and I'm going to go ahead and just put it on here. And let it go and I'll be right back. Okay, so the pin went down and it's all done releasing the pressure. So let's open up and see what we got. Again, I always open it away from me. Look at that. Let's dribble out some of the water. And you know your duo, uh, the handle doubles as a lid holder. Uh, sometimes I don't use it because if now I need to get this bird out of the pot and I don't really want to bump my lid and either risk burning myself or risk my lid breaking because it hits the ground. So this is just for demonstration purposes because some people didn't know that this is a lid holder. So I'm actually going to set my lid aside. Keep it safe. Okay. So this really, really cooked well and it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it out of here. I'm probably going to have to stop and use two hands. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Hey, okay. Well, here we have it. A very, very gorgeous roasted chicken and at this point, what you could do 
is you could transfer it to an oven safe dish and you could pop it in the oven to crisp up the skin a little bit uh, cook off some of the moisture if you want to that's what I did I I like to put mine in my big old cast iron skillet because I can just pop that whole thing into the oven and it doesn't take very long um, you know it's kind of funny but I think each bird is a little bit different I think that if they always say that they're young birds but I sometimes wonder about the age of these things because I can do the same amount of time for the same size bird and it comes out less done or more done you know maybe you sauteed it a little longer than normal and you know if you don't like your chicken quite this falling apart now I do and my family does but if you don't then just you know try experimenting take off five minutes to start you can always add more time if you want to but I really like it like this and oh my gosh I wish you guys could smell this it's incredible with that jerk seasoning and uh, the lemon and there's the rosemary and everything in there. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for a few minutes on 350, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so. And uh, then I'm going to have a done chicken. And I've decided that tonight I was going to make mashed potatoes, which obviously you can do right in your instant pot. That's another video. But I'm going to do rice and this yummy uh, liquid that's left here. And there's a couple of the giblets that I snuck in there too. I'm just going to cook the rice right in that. And uh, oh my gosh, it's going to taste amazing. A little extra butter. And I have some spinach greens in the salad, in, excuse me, in the refrigerator. <laughs> and I'm going to make a salad. And what a wonderful, healthy, complete meal. And it's all because this Instant Pot, uh, which you know, we're all in love with, <laughs> makes it possible to have a relatively quick and easy meal. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.